Wow. Nigeria is so is bleeding right now. Let us all pray for Nigeria. I weep and I weep and I weep, I weep, I weep. The situation in Nigeria took sleep from my eyes last night. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep, I couldn't do anything. How heartless and wicked could they all be? Why kill innocent people, innocent protesters? The youth who we know are the future of tomorrow, why kill them? Why killing the youth who are the future of tomorrow? Why are they trying to do? What are they trying to do? Why kill the innocent soul? I weep and I feel so bad. I wish I have a way of turning things around. I am so pained. My heart is broken into pieces. Why are they all wicked? This is pure wickedness. It's so sad. Knowing fully well that living in that country, coming from that country, you can't speak freely. They oppress us as the youth. They kill our brothers and sisters. Our parents, the children, why? Why can't we speak freely? Or are they trying to tell us that we have no right to speak? I personally believe that it's our right to speak, to protest. These are peaceful protesters on harm. They have nothing, no weapon, but yet they start killing, shooting fire. Oh God, my heart is bleeding. I feel so sad. I weep bitterly. For my country and I said is the world at large watching what is happening right now in our country are they sitting watching I pray for them to come and intervene I ask the UN the United Nations the world at large, the UK, the US, to come and intervene what is happening right now in Nigeria. Nigeria is bleeding with blood all over the places. The innocent blood, they are crying. The innocent blood, they are crying. And everyone that is involved in this, they will all pay dearly for it. Come and we visit them all. Come and we visit them all because they suppress us and say we have no right to protest. We have no right. We have no right to ask for anything. So if our parents has done what we the youth are doing today, I believe we could have had a better Nigeria. But they didn't do anything. But the youth stood up and said yes. We have to speak. Is our right enough? Is enough? And they now start oppressing us. They start oppressing us and say we have no right. Why? Why is it like that? Why is it so? I thought democracy is a freedom of speech in democracy, in democratic nation. But us is not so. Killing an innocent soul. That is the height of it all. Even though they want peace right now, after killing, now they want peace. They want to make peace. May God Almighty visit them all wherever they are. Come on, we visit them and their household. They will know no peace. Because my heart is bleeding. I feel so pain. I'm angry right now. I cried all through the night. Seeing those innocent souls, those are the heroes of Nigeria. 
those are the heroes of Nigeria. Wherever they are, may their soul rest in peace. But may those people involved never know peace. I ask the world, the United Nations, the UK, the US, let them come and intervene in the situation that is happening right now in Nigeria. It's something that we can't fight all by ourselves because they will not let us. The government will never allow us, the youth, to fight our freedom. So we are seeking international help to come and help us to fight this battle. It's a battle that we must fight alone. We have to fight it. It's fight to finish, not fight to give up. We can never give up this fight. This fight, we have to fight it. We have to end the bad governance. The president, the governors, wherever they are, all the people there, let them step down so we can move forward. Forward ever. We will never give up. This is our fight. We have to fight it. We have to join her together to fight this battle. Because I am feeling pain right now. Inside my heart, I am so broken. And I'm angry. I'm very, very angry as I speak right now. I have a child, which I'm still going to have others. So, at least I have something right now to tell my generation, to tell my children born that, yes, in my time, Nigeria changed. Oh, Jesus Christ, I feel for you. Oh, Ebehi, I'm so sorry for your loss. Sorry for your loss. That is the hero. Your cousin is a hero. And the soul will surely rest in peace. Is a hero and the soul will surely rest in peace. Whoever that is involved, let us all fight. Never to give up. We will never give up this fight. No matter what they do, no matter how they try, whichever way they suppress us, we will fight to finish. I am so angry and I'm pain inside of me. I am so, so pain. How can they be heartless? Open fire for an unharmed protesters. Killing them as if their life mean nothing to them. Oh God, may come and visit them wherever they are. We will fight to finish. This is a fight for all. A fight for one is a fight for all. We have to join hands together and fight it to finish. We will tell them that we can never give up, no matter what they do. Anywhere they come from, they, no matter how they want to or suppress us, they want to oppress us, we will never give up. We will keep fighting. We will keep fighting until we get that freedom that we are looking for. Because we have to be free from their bondage. They have, they have caged us for many years. No, for years they have caged us. We will fight this battle. We have to fight. I say end SARS. End police brutality. End military killing. End bad government. That is what we are seeking for. That is what we are seeking for. They embezzle money. They took their children abroad. They, they do a lot of things. And they forget that the masses are the ones that voted them there. They make different promises which they never kept. Let's stand and fight this battle. Let's stand the one I called. Let's stand. Let's say no to bad governance. Let's say no. Let's stand. This is what I've seen. This is what I am fighting for. We all should fight no matter what. Even though it takes our life, we know that yes, we fight for freedom. We gain something at the end of the day. Which I know that the United Nations, the UK, the world at large is watching right now what is happening in Nigeria. So let's join hands together and fight. And freedom we must get. Dina is independent. We are, is, we are just getting independent. Not the 1960s old. The 1960 old was just the main one. This is the independent we are getting now. For those that lost their life yesterday, their life will never go in vain. They will never, they will, their life will never go in vain. So we cannot give up. Let us come together. And I am happy that there is social media. So with the social media, we will use it to advocate. We will use it to bring our voice. Everyone need to let their voice. Let us come together. Let us join hands together. Let us not be afraid. 
Because anybody that died today will not die tomorrow. So, but we know that we die for a cause because we are fighting for a better Nigeria. Let us join her together. I say end SARS, end police brutality, end military killing, end bad governor. That is all I am seeking for. And I believe that is what everyone, every youth, every Nigeria is seeking for. So that tomorrow we will have what we will tell our children. Because at least even me now, I'm happy that this freedom is coming in my own generation. It's happening right now. So I have a lot, a lot to tell my children. So let's join her together and fight because I am so angry. My heart is filled with pain. I'm, the sorrow in my heart is too much because seeing, seeing the blood, oh my God, those people, they are so heartless. They are so heartless that I don't know if they have children, if they have family. How can you open fire? Shoot another man your fellow human being do you even think they were animals you were just opening fire shooting boo, 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 boo. as if their life mean nothing to you what will you gain will you be able to sit down eat drink water and sleep how can you people be heartless let's join her together to fight okay. let's join her together and fight let's say enough is enough let's say enough is enough and SARS, and police brutality, and bad governance, and military killing, unity shooting, let's fight to finish. That is all I have to say.